I finally managed to watch The Silent Child. It's an Oscar winning film. It won an Oscar for Best Live Action Short, or well, something like that. Best Short Film, in essence, because it's only 20 minutes long and it won an Oscar. And I won't do any spoilers in this film. If you want to watch the trailer, you can you know, check out the links in the below or above. And I will also suggest that you can check it out. You can buy it on iTunes or Google Play or YouTube for just a couple of pounds, a couple of dollars, and you can check it out. But the long story short is that a four-year-old girl called Libby, who is deaf, and her family are all hearing, and it just follows her journey of how she is struggling to be in her own world, isolated, alone, and all because of her family are hearing, and they don't understand what she's going through, and they got a specialist person to come in to help her to learn how to speak. And they think that's the best solution because she can lip read quite well, which means that she must be able to speak because that's how it works, isn't it? No, it doesn't work like that. But anyway, it just shows that there's a specialist care that comes in who taught her the art of communication via sign language. And that allows her to open up, be more confident in herself. But the problem is the family or the mother really preferred her to speak and not to use sign language, and that caused issues. The general essence of the film is that it talks about how deaf children can struggle in mainstream school without any specialist support or help. And at the beginning you know, of the film, it just shows immediately about how 78% of deaf children go to mainstream school without any specialist support. And even nine out of 10 deaf children are born to hearing parents and hearing family. And that is just start off like that and that kind of set the scene for the rest of it for them because it then acts like a real life situation of what happens in the world if you know you don't provide the special support for deaf children in school. And I wanted to talk about it in the video because it's not that I can resonate completely with the character for your girl called Libby. It's not that I can resonate with her completely because I'm not profoundly deaf, I don't use sign language, but I did go to mainstream and I did require certain support and help. And she didn't have that. And that was the situation that made it very difficult for all the children and even in the news, they talk about how more and more deaf children are left behind or held back or just not getting the education because they're not provided with the support because of cutbacks or because people don't think they need it. And in this film, the mother doesn't think she really needs support. She'll be fine in mainstream because she can lip read, which is naive, obviously. But in my own experience, I was lucky that I had the support. Now in my family, nobody has the issue of you know, deafness like I do. So I was alone in that situation. But they still understand me, they still provide support for me. At school, I had the support, for example, if there were listening exams, and I remember doing a French exam for my GCSE, and you have to listen to a cassette. Yeah, cassette, remember them in the 90s? You have to listen to the audio, you know, of the scenario of a, a case study, and you have to answer that, and I couldn't do it at all. I couldn't hear anything in a cassette. Not that it's just blank, it's just muffled, it doesn't sound like anything to me. So I had the option of having that one-on-one -on -one with the French teacher so that I can lip read and I can you know, do my exam properly. And then I had other things, like I had a dedicated English teacher because I didn't know English you know, when I was in primary school, very limited anyway, so I had that support. And then I had a speech therapist after school, and then I had you know, extra tutors for my science and my English and my math and all these things as well just to help me to pack my exam and stuff like that. Now some of them were provided by the school, some of them were paid by my parents' pockets, they paid for it by themselves. But on the other hand, in the film it's a bit different because Libby didn't have that support until she had that brief moment when the specialist person called Joanne came in and helped her, taught her sign language and kind of opened a whole new world for her that she can be part of it, she can communicate, make her more confident, more happier. But then school is another story, especially if it's the mainstream school as well, and without any support. Libby didn't have that, and it's quite clear. It's just so obvious 
that she's struggling and I felt for her. I felt so bad and even though it's not like a you know it's not a based on true story in terms of Libby but it's based on true story that it happens around the world and like I said 78% of deaf children they go to mainstream so you know and they go without special support and that is something that really bothers me I, I just find that really astonishing that they just have to go through that and again they had more barriers than I did so there were times in the film where I just got really frustrated because for example you know the mother just assumed that she can lip read but she still runs out to the door and say bye Libby but not even facing Libby so Libby doesn't know and even the father as well he's not any better because when the father first saw Joanne the specialist he said we don't really have much expectations though we don't really have high hopes for her I mean come on that is just not good and that got me really frustrated and it also made me appreciate the fact that I had all that support with me and you know Libby and thousands and maybe tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of deaf children don't have that so it really brought it to light not just to me but it should do to you as well if you ever get a chance to watch it and I recommend that you do it's only 20 minutes long you will realize that there are such big barriers and I don't know circumstances will stop them from achieving what they can achieve in life because with just a little tweak here and there with the right support deaf children and people can do just about anything almost anything in life but it's just because of these barriers and hurdles they are not able to do that which is for me is unfair and it got me really angry I suppose so I like the way the whole film just brings it back to that message at the very beginning which is the number, the stats about deaf children in schools and you know the struggle they're going through and it's almost like a soft activist film but it's still you know an eye opener as well it's not like really hard to think to say you should do that it's kind of soft in that way brings it back to that message it shows that story and then ends it with a way that it makes you open your eyes about deaf children should have the support and if not they will fall behind and just again recently in the news they've talked about that and a charity has did the research that they are falling behind and again it's part of a cutback government cutback or because the parents they don't think they need it all these kind of things so i suggest that you watch it give it a shot 20 minutes long that's it and let me know what you think and i'm curious to know if you either know someone or you've been through that experience and you know i'm curious to know what your experience is like as you grow up if you are deaf yourself but if you're not deaf did you know about this i'm really curious to know about this story did you know that this happens around you every day literally every day let me know in the comment below i'd really really appreciate it i'd really love to know what you think and while you're at it make sure you hit that subscribe button just to make sure that you don't miss out on anything and also you can click on that bell icon that make sure that you get a notification when videos are released in the meantime i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you check out the film as well i highly recommend it and i'll speak to you next time take care